Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about upcoming severe chances that will be happening uh, starting technically starting today, but I'm going to be talking about tomorrow, Wednesday through the weekend and into early next week is our best chance this week, uh, next seven days. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss an upload. Also, like the video to get this out to as many people as possible so people are aware of the situation. This graphic right here is for tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, June 17th. You see two different colors. The red means there's a lower chance for severe weather, and the dark red means there's a higher chance for severe weather. We currently have a slight risk in effect for um, much of the higher chance region right now. And moving on into Thursday, June 18th, there's a very large region where severe weather is possible, uh, but details are very, very unclear. Each model shows their own solution to this system that could happen. So there's five plus different scenarios that could happen and there's absolutely zero certainty on what goes on or almost zero i should say there's almost zero certainty after thursday on what will happen so i'm going to take you through that uh, very shortly and i'll probably have an update video if things get worse severe weather wise now let's get on to the models looking at the storm prediction center day two outlook june 17th there's a slight risk in effect for Grand For Forks, Fargo, Valentine, all those cities in the slight risk, 737,000 people are in a slight risk. And there's a small region of marginal risk uh, along the coast of North Carolina and Virginia. There is a 2% tornado risk in two different, uh, not two different regions, in one different region, um, in the northern half of the United States, Minnesota and the Dakotas. We have a 2% risk where a brief tornado can't be ruled out. Now we have 15% wind chances and 15% hail chances. Day three, no severe risk currently forecasted. Um, but if you look in the discussion, it does explain, pause the video if you like to read it, but it does explain that there's way too much uncertainty to even include a marginal risk anywhere. Um, probabilities may be added in subsequent up outlooks if portions of these areas once details become clearer. So now uh, I'm gonna take you through all the models. This is the 18Z NAM run. And if we look at surface base cape for tomorrow, 18Z, which is around the afternoon hours for tomorrow, Wednesday, you do see cape values in uh, Minnesota, the Dakotas, Nebraska, where we have that slight risk in effect, uh, peaking around three, three and a half thousand in some areas. And moving on into uh, the early evening hours, those numbers in west of the slight risk have Cape values of up to 4,000, maybe even higher. And then after 7 p.m., the Cape starts to dwindle according to this model. And then Friday is where there's so many questions about this. Uh, Friday, you could see Cape values Friday evening, going from Texas, 1 to 2,000, into the Midwest, another 1 to 2,000, maybe even 3,000. And it's just, this is a very confusing system, uh, mainly due to how much model spread there is. The GFS shows a completely different story uh, with surface based Cape values tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, it's different. It's in a different region, three, 4,000 in most regions. Uh, Two to five thousand, two to three thousand, sorry, and others. And Friday, it doesn't show quite as much Cape for the Midwest, uh, but still shows the same amount of Cape towards the South in Texas, with around two thousand. But in the Midwest, it toned it down to about one to one and a half thousand surface based Cape. So there's so many questions that could go on, and there's so many factors that go into this that each model shows differently. Uh, such as temperature, the degree of instability, how much clearing we get, how much convection we get, um, specifically morning convection. So there's so many questions and I'll update you later when the time gets closer. But for now, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.